Hi, I'm Jessica Griffiths. I'm a biologist with a local environmental consulting firm called Althaus & Mead. I'm here in the Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove to talk to you about the state of the Western monarch population and how we can help them. So first, let's talk about what is a population? Population is a group of animals or plants that live in the same area together and the population can increase or decrease or remain the same. So let's learn about what's happening to Western monarchs. So when I say the Western monarch population, I mean the monarch butterflies that live in the Western United States. There are actually two monarch populations in North America, Eastern and Western. Eastern monarchs live east of the Rocky Mountains and they migrate to Mexico for the winter. Western monarchs live, you guessed it, west of the Rocky Mountains, and most of them migrate to California for the winter. Some Western monarchs actually do go to Mexico. Maybe they decide to go hang out with their Eastern cousins for the winter. The Eastern monarch population is much bigger than the Western population. That means there are many, many more monarchs in the East than in the West. And there are more monarchs at the wintering sites in Mexico than here in California. When scientists talk about populations, they often talk about population size over time. A normal healthy population will sometimes increase, sometimes decrease, but generally over time will remain at about the same level. Unfortunately, the Western monarch butterfly population has been decreasing for many years. There are a lot of reasons why the Western monarch population is declining. And we're gonna talk about the main three reasons. Those top three reasons are habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change. So the first thing to talk about is habitat loss. Remember, habitat is where an animal lives. Monarchs need two different kinds of habitat. Overwintering habitat, where the butterflies come to spend the winter, is made up of groves of trees, where they cluster together. They also require breeding habitat made up of patches of milkweed. This is where they mate and lay eggs and where the caterpillars grow up. Overwintering sites are special groves of trees where monarch butterflies spend the winter, like here at the Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove. But overwintering sites in California are steadily disappearing. Sometimes it's because people cut the trees down. Sometimes it's because the trees get old and die and fall over on their own. Sometimes the trees get diseased, or sometimes drought may weaken or kill the trees. But all of these reasons mean that overwintering sites are in trouble. Milkweed patches have been disappearing too. This has been happening because people use the land where milkweed grows to farm crops or raise cattle or to build houses and towns. Milkweed sometimes likes to grow along roads, but those areas are often mowed for fire safety. So milkweed is on the decline. The second reason monarch butterflies are declining is pesticides. Pesticides are chemicals that are applied to crops and other plants in order to protect them from insect damage. Pesticides kill the insect pests when they try to eat the plants. But when people spray pesticides on crops or in their garden, the chemicals don't necessarily just stay on those plants. Instead, the chemicals are blown by the wind onto all kinds of other plants nearby, including milkweed or flowers that monarchs might be drinking nectar from. Monarch adults and caterpillars can get sick from or even die from these chemicals. Last but not least, monarchs are declining because of climate change climate change has resulted in higher average temperatures in the summer and in the winter. It also means that wildfires are happening more often and are stronger and more severe. Drought is actually becoming more common as well too and becoming more severe. Drought is what happens when there isn't enough rain during the winter. Droughts can weaken or kill the trees at an overwintering site, especially blue gum eucalyptus. Drought causes the eucalyptus to lose their leaves. This means that the protective canopy, which is so important for keeping the temperature and weather conditions just right, will gradually disappear. 
This means the site is no longer right for monarchs and they leave. All of these factors combined, plus the fact that the Western monarch population was already small to begin with, means that Western monarch butterflies are in trouble. Their population has declined by 99% from where it was in the 1980s. 99% is a lot. So monarchs need our help. They need a hero. They need you. So what can we do to help monarch butterflies? Well, the first thing we can do is to protect their overwintering sites. And State Parks is doing just that right here at the Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Overwintering Grove. The next thing we can do to help monarch butterflies is to plant flowers and milkweed to provide the adult butterflies and caterpillars with food. Everyone should plant native flowers, especially those that bloom in early spring and late summer or fall when the monarchs are migrating and arriving on the coast. If you have a backyard or a garden, you can plant monarch habitat. Even if you don't have a backyard, you can put out potted plants. The blooms will not only provide food for monarchs, but lots of other butterflies and bees too. What about milkweed? In California, native milkweed doesn't naturally grow close to the coast north of Santa Barbara. If you live north of Santa Barbara, plant native milkweed only if you live several miles inland away from the coast. If you live in Santa Barbara or south, plant native milkweed wherever you are. Next, we need to protect monarchs from pesticides. You can help by avoiding use of pesticides around your home and in your garden. Buy organic produce whenever you can. Also, when purchasing milkweed or plants from a nursery or garden center, make sure they have not been treated with pesticides. Last but not least, we need to do everything we can to combat climate change. So by reducing our energy usage, you can ride your bike instead of driving in a car. You can use a reusable water bottle instead of a plastic one. You can turn off the lights when you leave a room, recycle, just generally reducing your overall energy usage. By doing that, we can make a difference and help monarch butterflies. And by all of us working together, we can help the monarchs and ensure that they'll be coming back to overwintering sites like here at the Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove for years to come. <music>